Jones downfield and looks on the 10, taking the shadow with the drop back to the 15 to 20, 25. And he's it all the way up to the 34 yard line before he is dropped. Jamie Wood throws from his own 10 yard line back to the Ohio State 34 yard line, a 24 yard return. Where he's dropped there by Allison Munson. And it's Ohio State's ball, first and second ball at their own 34 yard line. At the end of the first period, Minnesota nothing, Wisconsin nothing. Third period, first and second, second and second. First half, three part of Mr. Six and Boston University nothing. Up the hurdle now, comes the Ohio State team. Take the wing back off to the right, draw the more to the Ball takes the back, but it cuts off his own right tackle. Moves up to the 36 yard line for a two yard game. So he's tackled by Dick Kempthorn. Kempthorn has returned to the play and made a fine tackle there, leaded by Van Sumlin. Second down, eight goal on the 36 yard line. Ohio State's ball. Michigan on the bench has Clark, Wister, Tenebelt, Munson, McClellan, Wall, and Kelsey. And in the backfield, Lynch, Kennecke, Kempthorn, and Van Sumlin. Out of the huddle, they come now. Up over the ball, comes to the center. Single wing back off to the left. Ball is more than deep. Ball goes to Crawl. Crawl takes the pass. Comes back to the weak side. Picks up the middle of the 35 meters to the 50. 45, 40, 35, 40. And he drops on the Michigan 30-yard line by Kempthorn. Kempthorn pulled him down from behind on the Michigan 30-yard line. A beautiful run by Kelly Crawl. And Ohio State back in the ball game. As Michigan holds timeout. George Washington 14, George Tom nothing at the end of the first half. The touchdown, all the touchdown club members of Washington are there. Tony Stubbs, the top sports writers, Francis Stan, Bob Addy, Tony Atkinson. Many of the Washington writers are there this afternoon. Time is off for Michigan. Here's Jim Gibbon. Well, Harry, that was almost as much yardage as the entire Ohio State team came throughout the first half on that last run. It was 14 and 20, 34 yards, picked up by this boy, Claw, who really can run. And he got out there and looked like he was really going to go all the way. They got him from behind as Harry told you on the 30-yard line, and it's Ohio State all stepped up, ready to go here, climbing for that touchdown. If they can get it, they'd like to get back in this ball game. They trail 7 to nothing. 13 minutes remaining here in the... Third quarter, out of the huddle, they come, and here's Harry Wisner. That was a 34-yard run for Crawl. All right, they're coming out the T formation. Crawl is deep with Carson. The ball is given to Crawl, and Crawl gives a backward pass to the end. Armstrong, Armstrong's up to 30 to 25, and he's knocked out of bounds to the Michigan 24-yard line. That was Armstrong, the left end at the end-around play, sweeping the left side of the Michigan line for a six-yard gain, and it's second down, four to go for Ohio State on the Michigan 24-yard line. And the Ohio State team looks like a new team coming out here in the last half, just as they did last week against Illinois. And they scored most of their points the last half of the beat Illinois 30 to 17. All right, Ohio State goes back in the huddle, calling signals to static, and all the Ohio folks that are up here are going wild with excitement as Ohio comes out over the ball is down to the center. Single wing back to the right, ball and Morrison deep. Ball is fast to Morrison. Morrison to crawl. Crawl to the right half back Hamilton. He's at the 25. He cuts to the 22. The 20. The 15. He is all the way down to the Michigan 14 yard line for the first down. As Lynch makes the tackle at the move. Fine. Burning reverse. And Hamilton carried the ball as the blocking of Ohio State was terrific in front of the ball carrier. And now it's first down for Ohio State on the Michigan 14 yard line. The score Michigan 7, Ohio State nothing. Ohio State pulling on the Michigan goal line. They moved all the way from their own 34 yard line down to the Michigan 14 yard line. With first down 10 to go for the Buckeyes. Savage, Paul, Morrison, and Hamilton in the backfield. Out of the huddle they come. Over the ball comes lining to the center. Unbounded time to the right. Strong to the right. Single wing back right. Paul and Morrison deep. Calling signals to static. The ball goes to Paul. Paul gets it to Armstrong at the 20. He's at the 18. He's at the 16. And he's thrown for a two-yard loss as they drive the end around play. And lost yardage this time is Harry Allen. A Clint and Alvin Wister made the tackle. All right, it's second down. Ball to go for the first down. 15 yards to go for a touchdown for Ohio State. And this is the Buckeyes' fourth scoring chance for the ball game. The score is seven for Michigan, nothing for Ohio State. That was Armstrong on the end of the round play that time, and Alice is waiting for it. The left stand came straight across, used his hands very well on defense, with it in there to help take up the interference, and they made the tackle there for 15 yards. Single wing back to the left, the ball is back. Ball is fading the throw. He looks, he passes, and it is intercepted by the five and back to the 10. Michigan's ball first and 10 to go. 
This has been a great help to Michigan on the first forward pass defense this year. He seems to have it. He moves quickly on the fence. He watches the ball carefully and streaks in to make those interceptions. Very valuable asset to any football team is Ohio State versus another throwing tent. And Lentz is the star of the Michigan team today. He comes over to the bench and is getting a pat on the back as Michigan takes over first and ten in the road, 25. Out of the huddle they come. Single wing back right front. The pullback on the play, and it's Dufek stopped at the 26 yard line. A yard gain in the play, hit by Matty and Wirtz. And it's second down, nine to go in the 26. The score 7 0. Michigan leading as the last half moves into a whirling football game. Plenty of action, plenty of excitement. Lots of thrills here for the big crowd as Ohio State just missed throwing a touchdown as Lent streaks through at the five yard line in the interception. Michigan ball, second down, nine as he shifts right. Hortman back. Ball goes to Hortman. Hortman gives the right halfback on the play. And it's Kosowski moving around up to the 26-yard line for no gain. And it's third down, nine to go. As Leininger makes another fine tackle for Ohio State, along with Charlie Gilbert of Columbus. And it's third down, nine to go in the 26-yard line. At the end of the third period, Yale 23 have it nothing. And at the end of the first half, Bullet Hobbit stands North Carolina State 7. One of the great stars for Yale is Bobby Spears. Only lives six miles from here. He lives in Ipsilani, Michigan. Part of the famous Dr. Spears is practicing medicine over at Ipsilani. Shifting right. Watson back. The ball goes to Watson's face to pass. He looks. They have to hurry. He's being chased to the 14. He jumps. He throws. And it's incomplete at the 37 yard line. India was the man the pass was intended for, but it's an incomplete forward pass. The end of the first half, South Carolina 3, Georgia Tech nothing. The end of the first period, Tennessee 6, Kentucky nothing. All right, Michigan goes back into the huddle on top down, 9 to 26. Dropping back into the safest position for Ohio State goes Janowitz and Newell. The score is 7 nothing. Michigan leading. 11 minutes and 40 seconds, the playing time remaining in the third quarter as Michigan comes out of the huddle. They're shifting into punt formation. Penega is back in punt formation. Running back at his own 14-yard line. He's been the kicking style of the ball game. What will he do here? There's a good pass from center. He punts. He gets away a pretty fair kick. It's taken by Janowitz on the 28. He's back to the 30, 32, 34. And he's dropped on the 34-yard line by Wisniewski. With first down, 10 to go for Ohio State on the Ohio State 34. Ohio State ball, Janowitz clean the ball back to the Ohio State 34, from his own 25. All right, the Buckeyes once more swing their offensive team back onto the field of play. Wesley Fussler changes the team rapidly, and it'll be Savick at quarterback. Left half back Strong, full back Morrison, right half back Hamilton. O'Hanlon's back in at left tackle, Armstrong at left end. Out of the huddle they come, single wing back to the left. The ball goes to the fullback on the plane. It's Morrison back to the weak side. Morrison moves to the 37 yard line for a three yard game. McCollum and Wall made the tackle for Michigan, and it's second down, seven to go for Ohio State. At Champaign, Urbana, and Illinois, Northwestern six, Illinois nothing at the end of the first half. The Wildcats have a six point margin at the end of the first half of the contest. Ten minutes exactly left to play in this game as Ohio in this third quarter as Ohio State comes out of the huddle. Single wing back off to the left. Ball has it. And now behind the line, the ball is given to Morrison. Morrison is dropped on the 36-yard line for a yard loss. And it's third down eight. It's Kelsey made the tackle for Michigan. He comes from Lakewood, Ohio. Kelsey made the tackle for the Wolverines. Jim Doherty, Roger Johnson, and Keith Fisher all here today from Chicago, engineering and producing for ABC. Game of the week. Coming from Ann Arbor, Michigan, over 100,000 people here. Out of the huddle now comes Ohio State. Single wing back right, call is back. Heading the pass is the quarterback, Savick. Savick throws, incomplete. Incomplete is forward pass, that's for Hamilton. Crowd thought there was interference on the play. It's fourth down. Crowd is booing, and the booing coming up was because they thought that the tackle was made of Hamilton before he had a chance to catch the ball. All right, Cunningham goes back into the safety position along with Lance. Ball 7 nothing. Michigan leading third quarter. Morrison goes back to kick for Ohio State, standing on his own 25-yard line. Morrison standing back on the 25. There's a good pass from center. Morrison gets away, just a fair kick along the sideline, taken by Lentz in the 32. Fumbles the ball, he recovers on the 33-yard line of Michigan, where it's Michigan's ball, first and 10 to go. 
Then Stubble then recovered his own fumble at the 33. Michigan takes over first and 10 on their 33. Michigan leads 7 nothing in the third quarter. Ohio State has lost four scoring chances thus far in the football game. Seems to even the match. Michigan scored on their first scoring opportunity, missed on their second, long missed on their third. Michigan coming out of the huddle. Dipping right, Ottman back with pullback Dupac. Motion goes to Dusty. The ball goes to Dupac, who gives to Ottman. Ottman on the screen pass, throws! And it's incomplete, meant for Dupac. Incompleted ball pass, Ottman to Dupac. Dupac drops the ball. The end of the first period. Vanderbilt nothing, Marshall nothing, the game being played in Nashville, Tennessee. Michigan's ball, second down 10 in the round 33. Out over the ball come the Wolverines, strong to the right, single wing, back right, dipping right, Ortman back. Ortman takes the pass again. He passes over the middle, complete, and it's to Gindia, down to the 50 yard line for the first down. Gindia, the quarterback, catches, and it's the first down for Michigan, again in the play of 16 yards. Shadowitz made the tackle, but it's the first down for the Wolverines at this field. Dortmund's been passing beautifully today, but his receivers can't hang out of the ball. This time, Gindia held it. Shifting right, Ortman back to Pusek, Postesky in motion. Ortman fades to throw again over the middle, and it's incomplete. At the 40-yard line, that's for Harry Ellis, a flip. Second down, 10 at the 50. Running the ball, holds on, takes the forward pass, takes to the 48-yard line, where he's tackled at that point by a sub line of Ohio State. Third down, eight on the 48. Score seven nothing. Michigan leading. Nine minutes left to play in the third quarter. Third down, eight on the 48. Be with us at 6:30 tonight on the most of these same ABC stations. And several outstanding interviews for you. And all the football scores of the day. Shifting right, Watson back with two sacks. Hartman fades the pass on third down. It's the screen pass. Completes the defect at the 50, from the 45 to 40. 35, he's all the way down to the Ohio State 33 for the first down. Hartman to Dufek for the first down on the screen pass. Dufek held out of the ball this time and took it down to the Ohio State 33-yard line. And Michigan has the first down. Michigan leads 7-0. Ball's on the 33-yard line right off the front of the goal post. Eight minutes left to play in the third quarter. Butman, the offensive side of the game for Michigan, Lentz, the defensive side of the game, on the secondary for Michigan, and the Michigan line has played a terrific game all along the line of scrimmage. Shifting right, Ortman back with Dupac. Kopetsky in motion. Ball goes to Ortman, who's running the ball, cuts back off his own right tackle, tries to swing into the secondary, but it's dropped down the 34 yard line for a yard and lost by drop line. And it's second down 11. Second down 11. The hole bailed open off the left side of the Ohio State forward wall. He was blocked. He tried to swing on his cleats and cut back into the field of play into the secondary, but fell down in so doing, and it's second down 11 as they come out of the huddle. Shifting right, Ortman back with two back to fullback. Ball goes to Ortman, who pays the throw. He looks. He runs. He jumps. He throws. And it's complete to Wisniewski on the 17-yard line for the first down. First down for Michigan on the Ohio State 17. Ohio State boy is hurt. Ohio State calls timeout. And here's Jim Gibbons. And the first thing we're going to do here in our broadcasting group with time out on the field is a pause briefly across this great nation for station identification. WLS for a pause station, Chicago 7, Illinois. Right, Ortman back. Ball goes to Boots, back to Boots, back to Kosesky. Kosesky moves down to the 15-yard line, goes to the 11-yard line. And the official rules the ball dead on the 12-yard line. Came in the play of five yards, second down five. Thomas made the tackle for Ohio State. End of the first half, West Virginia, 14, Western Reserve, 13. First period score, right seven, Texas 50, nothing. Michigan tipping to the right. Hartman back, two back put in. Ball goes to Jack Hartman, who takes the pass. He loops the pass into the end zone. Incomplete. 
Out of almost made a one-handed catch of the ball for the touchdown, but missed it, and it's an incomplete pass. So near and yet so far. He just missed that one. Third down. Five to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. Score seven nothing. Michigan leading. Ohio State trying desperately to stop Michigan here. Moving in on their goal line. Pitching out of the huddle. Pitching right. Bartman back with two seconds. Bartman takes the back. It's a jump pass to Wallace. Incomplete. Fourth down. Incomplete and forward pass. Fourth down. Score seven nothing. Michigan leading. Six minutes left to play in the third quarter. Michigan fourth down on the Ohio State 12 yard line, but up in front of the goal post. First spot for a field goal attempt, but they'd want to try one. Fourth down, five to go for the first down, five to go for the touchdown as they come out of the huddle. They're sitting right, Hartman's back with two back to two back. Hartman's running to the right, he's cutting, he's looking, and he is dropped on the 10 yard line. Ohio State puts over the first and the goal. Ohio State again stops Michigan. In the shadow of the Ohio State goal post. Michigan was off, had backfield in motion on the play, but of course Ohio State will decline the penalty and take the ball. The end of the first period, Arkansas 14, William and Mary nothing. Ohio State saw first and 10 to go on their own 11 yard line. Michigan was offside and had a back in motion. And Ohio State declined the penalty, took the ball on downs on their own 11 yard line. The end of the first half of the battle for the little open, old open bucket down in Indiana, Purdue 7, Indiana 6. Purdue 7, Indiana 6 at the end of the half. Ohio State ball first and 10 on their own 11. The score 7 0. Michigan leading. Six minutes and 24 seconds left to play in the third period. Stanley Claw, Morrison, and Hamilton in the Ohio State backfield. The ball goes to Claw. Claw running wide, cuts back at the 10, up to the 12, the 14, 15, moves up to the 18, and bound on the 19-yard line. A nice run by Jerry Claw, who's been the offensive side of the game this afternoon for the Ohio State team. A gain of eight yards on the plane, and second down two. At the end of the first three at Baylor 14, Southern Methodist 6. The game is being played in Dallas, Texas. Jimmy Perry, the North South. The uh, senior bowl is down there today. Ohio State called timeout Jimmy Gibbons, and Paul was hurt. That'll be a serious blow to Ohio State if Paul has to leave the game. He's leaving the game and going over to the bench and lifting quite badly, and so he'll have to leave the left halfback position. He'll be replaced by Victor Janowitz of Valeria, 185 pounds, 5 foot 9, who's played a lot today, but here is Jim Gibbons. I don't know if the ball comes to Ohio State. Cleavy in his right halfback, Janowitz at left halfback now for Ohio State. The ball goes to Janowitz. Janowitz to Morrison. Morrison moves up to the 21-yard line, very close to a first down. Kempthorne made the tackle with Mumpson for Michigan. Looks like he made a first down. He did at the 22, and his first down 10 to go for Ohio State on the Ohio State 22-yard line. Nice to have Lieutenant Colonel Leonard Roars of Kimball, South Dakota, the United States Air Force up here with us this afternoon. All right, out of the huddle now comes Ohio State. Over the ball comes their center. And it's Leidinger over the ball. Single wing back to the right. Janowitz and Morrison deep. Ball goes to Janowitz. Janowitz running off his own right tackle. Is moving downfield for a nice gain up to the 26-yard line. A gain of four yards on the play. And it's second down, six to go. The end of the first half, Notre Dame 14, Iowa 7. The end of the third period, George Washington 21, Georgetown 7. And those are the scores that they come into our broadcasting booth of ABC high above this beautiful stadium here at Ann Arbor, Michigan, where over 100,000 people are enjoying a fall afternoon football contest between two great Middle Western institutions. Out of the huddle they come, single wing back to the right. Janowitz in the jump pass, complete to the left end, Snicker, and Snicker takes the ball up to the 34-yard line for the first down. First down for Ohio State on the Ohio State 34. Van Summerlin made the tackle, but it's the Buckeye first down at the 34-yard line of Ohio State. First down, 10 to go now for Ohio State on the Ohio State 34. At the end of the first half, Pittsburgh 6, Penn State nothing. Single wing back off to the left, Janowitz and Morrison deep. Ball goes to Janowitz. Janowitz takes the pass to the right half back and carries the ball up to the line of scrimmage, the 34-yard line, where he's dropped by Robert Wall, the right tackle of Michigan, and it's second down, 10 to go at the 34. 
Second down, 10 on the 34-yard line. The ball midway between the sideline stripes. Four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Michigan leading 7-0. Third period. Out over the ball comes their center, McCullough now for Ohio State. Danowitz is back as they shift to the right. Morrison's deep ball, so the ball goes to Morrison. Morrison gives the ball to the right half back. Cleavey on the reverse. Cleavey thrown for a loss back to the 33-yard line by Wall and Kempthorne. Reverse has only worked once for yardage this afternoon for Ohio State. Each and every other occasion they've tried it, they've been thrown for substantial losses. And this time, once more, they're lost. Back to the 33-yard line, where it's third down 11. Michigan leading 7-0 in the third quarter. Michigan center, or Ohio State center, McCullough over the ball. Three minutes and 15 seconds left to play in this period. The third, Janowitz and Morrison beat. There's a backward pass to Janowitz who throw a forward pass downfield. Drop right in his hands, and he dropped it. Morrison drops the ball. The screen pass up to 27, and it's fourth down for Ohio State. Fourth down. And Ohio State will be forced to punt. Holding penalty. Maybe a defensive holding penalty. We're waiting. We're waiting for the penalty to be given to us officially by the men in white down there. They're discussing it with the captain of Ohio State, Wilson, the Michigan captain, stepping off the yardage. One, two, three, four. Five yard defensive holding penalty. First down for Ohio State on the Ohio State 37 yard line. First down, a defensive holding penalty against Michigan gives Ohio State an automatic first down on the Ohio State 37 yard line. They haven't given them the first down yet. The head lineman hasn't stepped it off. Out of the huddle they come. Davick gives the ball behind the line and to reverse again with Cleavy carrying the ball. Cleavy moves up to the 40-yard line where he's met head on at that point and drops roughly to the turf by Kempthorne. About two yards to go for the first down now on the 41-yard line. Well, it's fourth down now. According to the official ruling on the field of play, it's fourth down, two to go. On the 41-yard line, back into the safety position go Lentz and Penega. Back in the punt formation goes Morrison, standing on his own 32. The score, 7-0. Wisconsin leads Minnesota for half, 6-0. There's a good pass from center. Morrison gets away. A terrific punt. A real bullet kick that hits on the two-yard line goes into the end zone for the automatic touchback. It'll come out to the 20-yard line where it'll be Michigan's ball, first and 10 on the 20. Ball, first and ten in the road, 20 yard line. The score remains the same. Seven to nothing. Michigan leading. Shifting right. Portman back with Kempthorne. Ball goes to Watson who takes it. Lateral pass goes back to Bill. Third pass is the long looper down the field of Wallace. And it's broken up by Newton. That pass to the gotten pass Newell has been a touchdown for Michigan and a gain of 80 yards. But Newell broke it up. Number 41. Billy Newell of Columbia. 173 pounds, 5'11". From Vienna. C-O-L-U-M-B-I-A-M-A. The 21. Michigan's ball, shifting right. Welcome back, second down, 10 on the 20. Stefke in motion from the right half back position. Watson passes to Stefke. He fumbles the ball on the 16-yard line. It's called incomplete. It's picked up. Ohio State and race across the goal line by Leininger, but it's called an incomplete forward pass. So it's third down, third down 10. Right in his hands, but he dropped it for the incompletion. Score so 7-0, folks. Two minutes left to play in the third period. Badgers of Ivy Williamson, a graduate of Michigan, a former star end out of Michigan, are leading Minnesota's Golden Gophers today. There's a backward pass to Dupac, Dupac to Kosesky, he got the 15, the 18, the 20, 22, 24, 25, 30, 25, 40, cuts back to the 45, 50, goes to the 45, and a beautiful run, Kosesky takes the ball down to the Buckeye 44 yard line. A run, a drive on the play of 36 yards, and a brilliant play by Kosesky, nice block. 
blocking by the Michigan forward wall. Downfield blocking was excellent, and it's the first down for Michigan on the Ohio State 34. Newell made the tackle. The last man with a chance to get Kosesky before he went all the way for the touchdown. Michigan ball, first down 10 on the Ohio State 44-yard line. Be with us tonight at 6.30 over most of these same stations, folks. Bring you up to date on all the scores of the day and also have several outstanding interviews from our ABC broadcasting booth here at the stadium. Shifting right, Ortman back with Dupek. Kosesky in motion. Dupek carries the ball to the strong side. He hits the hole to the 35 and moves to the 32 for another first down. A gain of 14 yards. The Janowitz made the tackle for Ohio State. That was Dupek all the way down to the 32-yard line of Ohio State. And now the Michigan offense begins to click as the forward wall is opening up those holes. McClellan played all the way today and played a terrific game at guard for Michigan. Our State calls timeout, Jimmy Gibbons, with 50 seconds left to play in the third grade. Right, Ortman back with Dupek. The ball goes to Dupek. Dupek gives the ball to Alice. Alice comes around on the end of the round play and takes the ball down to the 31-yard line. A gain on the play of one yard. He's hit by Trotwine. But it's second down, nine to go on the 31. Happened right over in front of... Several of the band members right across the field there. The Ohio State cheerleaders jumping up and down, loosening up across the way. The Ohio State fans calling upon their team now to stop the rush of the Michigan team. Michigan has no shift in the play. It's a backward pass to Dupac at the 30. He moves to the 27, and he's dropped at that point. By Leininger, who played a whale of a game at center today for the Buckeyes. And it's third down, four to go for Ohio State on the Michigan 26. Princeton leads Dartmouth Knight. Princeton defeated Dartmouth today, 19 to 13. A great football game down east as the Princeton team comes through with a great victory for their ball club and their alma mater. Six-point win over Dartmouth. Out of the huddle now comes Michigan as the third period ends with Michigan still leading seven to nothing. And here's Jim Gibbon. The ball goes to Chuck Ortman. Ortman gives the ball to Kosesky. He's up to 25 and he's dropped in the 26 yard line by Wirtz. And Newell. And it's brought down. Four to go. Kosesky stopped on the 26 yard line. Kosesky's been out of the lineup for a month. He's played a great game offensively for Michigan today. He failed the game on that play and it's brought down for Michigan. It's once more Ohio State stops, tries to stop Michigan close to their own goal line. This is the fifth time today, four times they've been, three times successful, one time successful. This is the play that should decide the future of this ball game. Shifting to the left, Ortman back, Kosesky in motion. Ortman looks to pass. He's moving, he's being chased, he's being rushed, he's running at the 30, he's pulled down on the 26th, and Ohio State takes over first and ten to go. Ohio State stops Michigan once more and takes over for a first down on their own 26-yard line. Jennings and Woods made the tackle. And it's the first down, 10 to go for Ohio State on the Ohio State 26-yard line. Ohio State ball. Several Detroit Lions directors out here today. Spike Drake, Andy Anderson, Bill Downey, Art Hoffman. Single wing back to the right. Ball is... Back into the ball game and running wide. He's up to 25. He moves to the 30, 34, 35. A beautiful run by Crawl. Out of bounds on the 34 and a half yard line where Van Sumlin made the tackle there. Great run by Crawl. A pickup of nine yards on the play and a second down one to go. Crawl has recovered sufficiently to get back into the offensive lineup of the Ohio State team. And of course, he's been the spearhead of their offense all afternoon. The score is 7 to nothing. Michigan leads Ohio State. We're in the fourth and final quarter. The game that decides the Big Ten title in the Rose Bowl bid in all probability. Single wing back off to the left. Hamilton deep. Ball goes to Crawl. Crawl cuts to the weak side for the first down as he hits to the 37. Stopped by Kelsey. And it's the first down, 10 to go. The end of the first period. The basket 13, Colorado 7. Michigan playing heads-up defensive ball now. Ohio State playing offensive ball. Not only have we got a race for the Big Ten title here today, but you've got the strongest offensive team playing the strongest defensive team. Michigan's got the greatest defensive record in the Big Ten, and Ohio State's got the best offensive record. It's Curly Morris in the tail. Back there, the ball is handled by Jerry Cole. Cole to Smitker, the right end, and Smitker is running the bounds as he goes wide around the right end of Ohio State. He reaches about the 41-yard line. 
That's Snitker, the right end, Dick. He is the All-American basketball player for Ohio State, who is in now at left end for the Buckeyes, and in a wide sweep around the end, he cut around his own right end, Jim Haig, and went outside of him and ran it up to the 41-yard line for a five-yard game. Tommy Kelsey, left end of Michigan, ran him out of bounds. All right, it is now quarterback Savick, Ohio State, calling these plays. The Buckeyes still a dangerous threat in this ball game. And carrying the ball is Jerry Cole. Cole goes past the 45. He reaches the 49-yard line, and Ohio State is on the march. They're just about to go down into Michigan territory. It's the Buckeyes moving every length of thing out. 13 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the fourth and final period of this ball game from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And Ohio State has been up almost in the middle of the field. They're about a foot and a half shy of the midfield strike. Score is Michigan 7, Ohio State nothing. But the Buckeyes are driving deep down. They're a much stronger team in the second half than they were in the first half. Michigan trying, trying to puzzle up a defense that can fool or get into Ohio State's pair. They've been unable to do it today. It's Cole on a reverse this time. Gives it to Curly Morrison. Morrison goes across the midfield stripe. He lunges all the way down to the Michigan 46-yard line. And Ohio State seems to be an irresistible force. They're driving far forward. Fighting off huge chunks of earth each time they take the ball. It's second and five. Five-yard gain on that play. Again, a five-yard play by Ohio State. Tom Kelsey left into Michigan. Had to make that tackle. And we had a very unusual thing happen a moment ago. The Ohio State captain asked that one of his players be taken out of the ball game. He asked that one of his players be pulled out of this ball game, and I think the boy is going out now. Apparently, the boy is slightly injured, and uh, Wesley Fessler did not know that he was. It's McCullough. He went out of the ball game for Ohio State. He's six feet tall from Purexville, Ohio. Al Wister, left tackle of Michigan, was also injured on that play, and he's coming out of the ball game. And he's 34 years old. He's of the famous Wister family. Two of his brothers have made All-American before him. And Al is a contender up to this year for All-American. I don't think he's going to make it this year. But up to this season, he was considered uh, a great chance, had a great chance of making it, and he still may do it. Harry Ellis goes in at left end for Michigan, and Tommy Johnson goes in in place of Al Wister, who was hurt for Michigan, and he goes out of the ball game. Now, Ohio State, all ready to keep going, and it is second and six, second and five and a half, actually. Seven to nothing is the score, Michigan over Ohio State, in the fourth and final period, with 12 minutes and 25 seconds of playing time remaining. Here comes Ohio State out of the huddle very quickly. They would like to get a touchdown if they possibly can and save off the feet. It means everything to them. All right, Jerry Cole in the tailback this time. Cole stumbles and falls as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Jerry Cole takes a handoff from Pam Savick. He falls down, his feet goes sliding out from under. Remember, the going is not gooey, but it is neither. It is as firm down there. It has been wet. It rained a little bit yesterday, turned to sleep last night, and snowed a little bit this morning in Ann Arbor. And the going is a little bit heavy, even though they had a tarp pulling over the field all night and early this morning. They only pulled it off, actually, about, oh, I would say a half an hour before game time. It is third down, coming up five and a half yards to go for Ohio State. And Curly Morrison can pass if he has to. The ball is raffled out this time to Mr. Jerry Cole. Cole is hit down on the 47-yard line. He loses a yard and a half. And here comes a puzzler for Ohio State. Fourth down coming up, seven yards to go. They lost two on that play. Now they've got to decide if they're ever going to gamble. This is the place to do it. Fourth down, seven yards to go. It's the fourth period. They're trailing by seven points. The Big Ten titles hanging in the balance. If they don't gamble now, they can play it safe. They can kick down and hope to kick so far out of bounds in Michigan territory, deep down, that the Wolverines will have to boot it right back up to them. Curly Morrison is standing in kick formation. Will they gamble? It's the fourth down, seven yards to go. Morrison is their kicker. Lentz and Keninga are back for Michigan. There's the kick. It's over towards the sideline. The see where it went out of bounds. It went out of bounds somewhere in the neighborhood of the Michigan... Almost the 19-yard line, I would call it. Well, the referee says it was the... Let's see what he does say. He says it was the 18-yard line. So does Michigan fall, and Ohio State, presented with a golden opportunity, is unable to make much use of it. And they are stopped when they reach the middle of the playing field by a Michigan team which is determined to make that seven points stand up. Michigan has the ball, first and ten, on their own 18-yard line. 11 minutes and 10 seconds of playing time remaining, and may I again make mention at this time, after this football game is over, the National Broadcasting Company is going to hop all over the United States into every conference as the games are being played, not to bring you the scores, but to bring you the highlights. Coming up on the line, back is John Dufrak, who takes a hand off to Orson, keeps it himself, and reaches the 23-yard line before he's brought down for the five-yard game. Charlie Russell's in the tailback. Ball goes back to John Dufrak. He punches his way up to the 28-yard line for a two-yard game. He's brought down on the 28-yard line, and it is going to be third down coming up now and about a yard to go. Third and, oh, less than a yard. They're bringing the line sticks in, or will bring them in to measure to see whether it is a first down or not. It's about third and one foot. So with Wisconsin leading Minnesota, 
and Wisconsin having a 3-1-1 average, that is three wins, a single defeat, and one tie against Minnesota's 3-2 average. That will eliminate Minnesota from any further consideration. And if Michigan beats Ohio State, Ohio State then would have a 4-2 average, Wisconsin would have a 4-1 average, and a 4-1-1 average, and Wisconsin would be second in the Big Ten race, just behind Michigan, which can't go, so Wisconsin would go. And that is a really mixed-up race. But if you think that's mixed up, wait till we get into what can happen on the Pacific Coast and what is happening down in the Southwest. I don't think I've ever seen the last day of the season come up with so much conjecture. There's a spot pass thrown right over the center of the line, and it is not down. It was thrown by Chuck Orchman. It was intended for Harry Ellis. It was cut down by Jack Leninger, and Leninger looked like he intercepted it for a moment. The Ohio State adherents think he did. I don't think he did. Let's see what the referee thinks. I think it's still Michigan's ball. I don't think that Leninger held onto that ball. I think he got away from it, got down to the ground. So it is still Michigan's ball. It was a spot pass with a fourth down. How do you like that? One foot to go, and Michigan tries a forward pass and a third down with a foot to go. So it is fourth down coming up now. One foot to go. What would you do if you were the quarterback? Your team's ahead by seven points. Walt Penninger comes in. He can kick or he can run. They got one foot to go. If they gamble and lose it, they'll give the ball to Ohio State. Or will they play it safe? They got one foot to go on a fourth down. It is Walt Penninger back into cut formation. They're going to boot it with a foot to go. He kicks it. Waiting down the field to take that is Dick Janowitz. Now gets away from Janowitz. It rolls back to the Ohio State 25. It rolls all the way back to the 20-yard line. And Dick Janowitz rolls down on the 20-yard line. Oh, Michigan got a break on that. Walt Penninger booted from his own 10-yard line. The ball got away from Dick Janowitz on the 30. He touched it. He got one of those crazy bounces out of it. He tried to play it on a bounce, and that's dangerous. Got away from him on the 30, rolled back to the 25. He made another desperation run for him. Got away from him again, and this time he decided, hey, let's quit this fooling. And he fell on it on the 20-yard line. He'd had enough of the way that ball was bounding. So it's Ohio State's ball, first and 10 in their own 20. They got 80 yards to go to tie up the game, and they got 10 minutes to do it in. Ohio State out of a huddle very quickly. Wearing scarlet and white jerseys. The colors are scarlet and gray. It's a double handoff this time. Into the clear comes Farrell Morris, and he goes all the way up to the 35-yard line for a 15-yard gain. Freddie Morrison, fullback of Ohio State. Curly Morrison comes right to the center of the line on the double handoff. Savick faking me, give it to Hamilton. Roy faking me, had it. Morrison takes Morrison coming right to the center of the Michigan line, and I assure you it was a beautiful play and completely befuddled Michigan so much so that they asked for timeout. Michigan has asked for timeout, and here comes scores of other ball games your way. Scores of other games. Ohio State's ball first and 10 on their own 35. Ball goes back to Morrison. Morrison goes up from the 35 to the 37 for a gain of two yards for Dan McClellan, the right guard, and Tony Momsen, who's backing up the line for Michigan, can bring him down. Again, a two yards on that play. Vic Johnson comes into the ball game. Rather, Vic Janowitz comes into the left half back. And as fast as he gets into that ball game, he's taken out. And Jerry Cole comes in to take his place. He's in for one play. Butler is really shifting his backfield around. Savick is still calling offensive signals for the Buckeyes. And a reverse to Jerry Cole. Cole breaks across the 45, reaches the 47-yard line, and the Buckeyes are beginning to move again. With nine minutes of playing time remaining in this football game, it's all there are. It's Michigan 7, Ohio State nothing. But Ohio State is driving down the field. Ohio State's got the ball in their own 47-yard line. Michigan trying to come up with a defense that'll throttle this Buckeye attack. The Buckeyes... Seven points means everything to them. If they can tie up the ball game, they can still win the conference title. Jerry Cole in a handoff this time. And Jerry Pace back for the forward pass completed to Savage. The quarterback, he takes it on the 30. He's 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 on the 15. He's on the 10. And he's finally knocked out of bounds. He's finally knocked out of bounds on the four yard line. pass that time. Beautiful pass. It was thrown by Pan Savick, caught by Roy Hamilton, who came across the line of scrimmage, broke into the clear at the 35-yard line, went all the way to the Michigan 4 when Penanga fell to them out of bounds. It's now Ohio State ball, first and 10 of the Michigan 4-yard line. They trail by seven points. Into the center of the line goes Mr. Freddie Morrison. He is down to the 1-yard line. He's down to the 1, and it's second down, 1 yard to go. Ohio State ball, down to the Michigan 1-yard line. Ohio State driving feet, feet, feet. They want to tie this up. This means the conference title if they can as much as get a tie this afternoon. Ohio State is down now. The stadium's in Bedlam. You can hear them yelling on all sides. The Michigan Rooters yelling for the team to hold. The Bills one yard away from the goal line. It's Ohio State within one yard of tying up this ball game. Jerry Cole's in the tail back this time. Freddie Morris is in the bucking back spot. Let's see who the ball goes to. It's a single ring to the right. It goes to Morris and in the center line. And he is over. Ohio 
take six. Jim Haig, right end, will try the extra point. Dick Widow, son of the former coach of Ohio State, will hold. And this can be it. Hang on to your breath now. Michigan 7, Ohio State 6. Will they make this extra point? This point can be the Rose Bowl. This can be it. If they make it, they can go. If they don't, they may not. It is not good. It is not good. It is not good. Offside was Michigan. Michigan was offside, which may give Ohio State another chance at it. That would give Ohio State another chance at it. Michigan was offside. Michigan was offside. So Ohio State gets another chance at it. The kick was not good, but Michigan was offside on the play. Oh, I wonder who wrote this script. Warner Brothers, Metro, or Paramount. All right, here it is. Here comes the kick again. The kick was not good, but Michigan was offside. Here comes the kick again. The second chance they've had. Egg boots it, and it's good! Michigan 7, Ohio State 7. Anybody's ball game, and if the Buckeyes can hang on to it now, they go to Pasadena. They can't be stopped if they just tie this ball game. So that point was awful important. Ohio State's going to kick off now. Michigan's going to receive. Horstman and Kuzeski are the deepest. All right, there goes the ball. There's seven minutes of playing time remaining. Ball goes back to Leo Kuzeski. Takes it on 20, up to the 25, and he's knocked down on the 27-yard line. And Ohio State is an inspired ball club. All right, it's Ohio State, or rather Michigan's ball now, first and 10 on their own 28-yard line. Here comes Ohio State. Wilson is coming into the ball game. He's back in. Other than that, I think the same Ohio State team that just scored is in. All right, it's Michigan's ball, first and 10 on their own 28-yard line. Seven more minutes of playing time in this stadium is really in a maniacal fury. Into the center of the line goes Charlie Orson, and he's piled up as he reaches the 31-yard line. Again, a four yards. Runninger, maybe. Bachman and Gilbert all hit him and hit him hard. Again, a three yards on that play. Ohio State wants to get that ball if they can. A tie is just as good, a, good as a win for the Buckeyes. But they'll settle for a win if they can get it. They've tied up the game now, coming from nothing to seven to seven to seven. They got a great break on that extra point. Their first kick was wide, but they got a second shot at it when Michigan was outside. But Johnny Gimby is calling these signals. Horton in the tail back. Ball goes on a complete sprint. Leo Kudeski. Kudeski is back to throw a forward pass, and it is not good. Intended for Harry Ellis. Dick Janowitz at fullback for Ohio State as the man who knocks it down. So it is not good, and it is going to be third down coming up now, and a big seven yards to go. Michigan seven, Ohio State seven. Anybody's ball game in Ann Arbor, 97,000 people watching this game and yelling for Michigan to go, go, go. They would like to see the Wolverines come on. If Michigan wins this ball game today, they will be doing something no team in the Big Ten has ever done. They will be winning the third straight conference title. No team has ever done it. It's a double reverse with Podesta going around the left side of his line. He's being tailed in. He gets up to the 35, spins his way up to the 39-yard line, and it's just shy of a first down. When Dick Jano is pulled back to Ohio State, plays it from a first down. They may bring the line stick in to measure to see whether he did or he didn't make it. It's awful, awful close. And if he didn't, are they going to run for it? Are they going to kick? Michigan has missed three first downs today by inches, and I think they're going to miss this one by inches, too. They've been missing them all afternoon by just a couple of inches. They missed this one by inches. All right, it's fourth down. One foot to go. Fourth down, one foot to go. In comes Ross Kamenga. Back for the quarterback to the end. Seven to seven ball game. Fourth down, one foot to go. Michigan's ball on their own 38-yard line. 20 yards in from the eastern side of the playing field. And back in safety position for Ohio State is Mr. Dick Widow. And Michigan is going to gamble. No, they're not either. Then it goes going back into front formation. The groan goes up in the stadium. They want them to gamble for this. Seneca standing back in front formation. Apparently, they're going to play it safe. The pass is back to Seneca, and he puts it. Driving down the field, it is Billy Newell who gets under the kick. He takes it on 25, breaks away from two men, and he sits down on the 37-yard line. Michigan refuses to gamble. Bob Powers, the left end of Michigan, left guard, is the man who hits him down. Now it's Ohio State ball. Ohio State ball, first and ten on their own 39-yard line with six minutes and 20 seconds remaining to be played. Michigan refuses to gamble with a fourth down and one foot to go on a tie ball game. And they kick down to Ohio State, which is just what the Buckeyes wanted them to do. Now Ohio State's got the ball, first and 10 on their own 34-yard line. And it is Daniel Savick 
in the quarterback. He hands it off to Jerry Cole. Cole with his interference finally behind him. He's up to the 45, and he's finally run out of bounds, and he goes up to the his own 14 six-yard line. And this Ohio State team is really hot now. There are only six minutes of playing time remaining in the football game. Now Ben Summer in the right halfback of the The man will hit him out of bounds. Cole has moved up to the 40-yard line, 45-yard line. Gain of six yards on the play. And Michigan's having a time scroll now, hanging on to Ohio State for all their worth. This Buckeye team is playing inspired football. Ohio State 7, Michigan 7, and the conference title hangs in the balance. Ohio State has pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps. It's Savick calling these signals on a single wing over the right. Ball goes back to Terry Cole, into the center line, he races the 50s, on in the carries up to the 45, and he's down on Michigan State, the carries fourth down. Michigan 41-yard line. And the way the Bucks are moving now, it's going to take more than Michigan's got to stop them. Michigan has been able to saw, unable to stop this attack ever since the half began. But before you start awarding any games to anybody, let's play it out. Michigan, a great ball club. Let's play it out. Michigan, a great ball club, which is the champion, the conference champion for the last two years. Pile it up on the line this time as Mr. Wister comes in, the fullback, and he bucks his way up to the center of the line, and he picked up about one yard before he was finally brought down by Al, better known as Brick Roll, the right tackle of Michigan. Michigan playing for all their words, trying to stop this Ohio State team, which is higher than a kite. They came out from the halftime on, and it was very easy to see that they were playing a different brand of football than they did in the first period. Curly Morrison comes back in at fullback now, and it is Savico, hands it off to Jerry Cole. Cole shoots the pass down to the 30, it's taken on the 30 by Snitzer. All-American basketball star of Ohio State. He takes another 30, down to the Michigan 27-yard line, and Ohio State is marching. Back in the booth now. Ohio State in the match. They get a first down on the Michigan 27-yard line. This is the team which was outclassed in the first half. Here's a handoff. It's to Jerry Cole again. Cole piled up on the 25-yard line. Referee puts the ball right down on the 25. Again, a three yards on that play. It'll be second down coming up seven yards to go. Ohio State watching the clock. There's four minutes and 20 seconds, seconds, 27 seconds remaining to be played. And the ball is resting on the Michigan 25 in the possession of Ohio State. Ohio State now has the ball on the Michigan 25. Score is Michigan 7, Ohio State 7. And Ohio State, which were the underdogs in this game, have tied it up, and they're now threatening to put the game into their own back pocket by scoring another touchdown. Jerry Cole has been carrying in every play, slips as they get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on that play. Jerry Cole, left halfback of Ohio State, who's played a whale of a game. Left halfback for Ohio State. He's been a big offensive threat all afternoon long. 22-year-old, 180 pounds, 5'10", comes from Toledo. One of the big nine's most dangerous runners. He led the Bucks last year in the average per try column with 4.6. He threw only three passes last year, but he completed them all for touchdowns. He scored five touchdowns last year, and he returned 10 punts for 205 yards. All right, Ohio State's ball now. It is third down, seven yards to go. They swing to the left this time. Ball goes back to Jerry Cole. Cole to Savick. Savick fading back to throw a forward pass, and it's dropped. It is dropped on the Michigan 15-yard line. Roy Hamilton, right half back of Ohio State, gives everybody a heart failure. He has it on the Wolverine 15 and then drops it. Chuck Lynch, defensive quarterback of Michigan, was helpless to stop him from catching that. Beautiful pass, thrown right into his hands. Well, it's fourth and seven. All right, what would you call now? Fourth and seven. Ohio State has the ball on the Michigan 25-yard line. Certainly, they're not going to kick, but they might go for a field goal. It would have to be a 45-yard field goal to make it, and they're at a bit of an angle. I don't think they're going to try it. It's fourth and seven. It'll probably be Curly Morrison or Savick throwing this ball or Cole carrying it. Let's see what happens. Ball goes back to, it is Morrison. Morrison fading back to throw a pass. It was a long pass down, and it is not good. So Michigan takes over, first and ten. The Wolverines have got the ball now on their own 25-yard line with three minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Listen to the crowd. All right, it's Michigan's ball now, first and ten. Wolverines put back their offensive team. Three minutes and 15 seconds. And Ohio State is beginning to hold that line. Well, nobody's doing anything yet. Michigan's got the ball first and 10, 3 minutes and 15 seconds, and they're 75 yards away from the touchdown. Now, they run back to the line of scrimmage. Charlie Elkins in the tailback. He's the boy can pass. Will they gamble on a pass at this stage of the play? And it is a line play this time, with Jim Neal to do back to back coming up across the 30, reaching the 34 before he's finally brought down. And there are only three minutes of playing time remaining. Janowitz and Wirtz for the men who stop him. Short Michigan's ball for an eight-yard gain. Second and two coming up. Michigan back into a huddle very quickly now. Ohio State playing a seven-man line. Two minutes and 50 seconds to in the ball game. It's Michigan seven, Ohio State seven. Anybody's game. Here comes Michigan out of the huddle very quickly right now. They've got the ball just picked up eight yards on the line, but with two cuts right in the center of the line. In motion coming out to the right is Leo Kodowski. It's a quick flip battle this time. Going to Dan Dupek, and I think 
if he missed the first down or maybe made it by inches. Michigan has missed so many of those first down by inches, they'll probably measure this one. Looks like it's third and about a foot. Third and one foot. So it is Michigan's ball, third and one foot, and time is becoming more and more important. Two minutes and 30 seconds, that's all that remains in the football game. Michigan's got the ball on their own 35-yard line, third down, one foot to go. The Wolverines trying desperately to win the conference title. They've got a tie for it already, but they want to win it. And he's got a first down, it's the into the center of the line. He fumbled as he was hit down there, let's see who recovered. The entire Ohio State team was in on that. Is it a Michigan recovery or an Ohio State recovery? It is an Ohio State recovery! arguing about that. There's a pile up on the ball on the Michigan 35-yard line, and it is ruled that it is an Ohio State recovery, and now Ohio State has got two minutes and five seconds to go 36 yards and win the ball game. A golden opportunity. Ohio State 7, Michigan 7. But even a tie puts them into a tie for first place, and that sends them to Pasadena. Regardless of what happens to Wisconsin and Minnesota. Because they will then have an average that cannot be tied by either one of these. The tie on Wisconsin's record stopping them from going. Single wing to the right. Jerry Cole's in the tailback. He can pass, he can run. Ball goes back to Savick. He's going to pass it. And it is not good. Woo, almost intercepted. Snitzer, Dick Snitzer, the left end of Ohio State was the man who went into the air to pull it down. Tony Mumpson backing up the line for Michigan. Knocked the ball down. Incomplete. And time is running out. There's only a minute and 59 seconds remaining in this ball game. So Ohio State has the ball on the Michigan 37 yard line. The score is Ohio State 7, Michigan 7. And the Buckeyes are now playing for everything. They're not satisfied with the tie. They're going all the way out there throwing it. They have tied for the conference title already. Savick is back to throw a pass. There it goes. And it is not good. Drag is right now. It's becoming more and more evident that they are going to get a short one. Michigan would love to get their hands on that ball. That's the only chance they've got to win in the ball game. Jerry Cole's in the tailback. Jerry takes the ball, takes the pass. He's going to run with it. He goes around the left side of his line, and he's stuffed on the 39-yard line. His feet screwed out from under him. Tommy Johnson, left tackle, and Harry Alice left end, bring him down. No gain in the play. A loss of two yards, so it's fourth down. A minute and 40 seconds remaining to be played. Ohio State's ball in the Michigan 39-yard line. Uh-oh. Backfield in motion. Called against Ohio State. One, two, three, four, five yards. Sets him upfield to the Michigan 44-yard line. Five-yard penalty. Ohio State. And now it is Ohio State on the Michigan 44-yard line. What might be that they're going to try for a field goal. It'll be the longest one I ever saw if they tried, but I doubt it very much. That's what they're apparently going to do. They're apparently going to try it, and Widows is going for it. If they make this, they win. But the booted, he's got to kick it from the 50-yard line. It's got to be a 60-yard field goal. That's what Ohio State is going for. And they're going to try it. The ball is up in the air, and it is not good. Into the end zone. It is not good. So it's a field goal is attempted by Ohio State. The ball is taken over with a minute and five seconds remaining in the football game. It is Michigan ball, first and ten on the Wolverines, 20-yard line. Automatic cuts back on the last play. And Michigan takes over now with one minute and five seconds remaining to be played in this football game.